Hi, this is Gilles, Radio Proper. A couple of friends and I are going camping. So it's a great opportunity for radio. So Julian's challenge is to uh, contact someone randomly without having it arranged and uh, sending him my coordinates so that he could email them to someone else. You know, simulating some kind of a uh, SOS or, you know, distress call. And uh, I chose to do so, or try, with a single band radio. <laughs> uh, with no more than 3 or 4 watts, I'm not quite sure. And uh, that is the QCX on 80 meters. 80 meters is really impressing me uh, lately, I have to say. I always thought that uh, 40 meters was the king of the uh, prepping bands, but 80 meters is uh, giving it a run for its money. Uh, it's really excellent. It works most of the time. And I thought that, you know, antennas would be more of a problem before. That's why I really was sticking to 40 meters. And I wasn't doing 80 meters. I wasn't using it. That was wrong. Because it's really not that hard. You, you string your antenna horizontally, so you don't have to worry much about height and shooting up a wire up a tree. And it's an excellent band. I think it's, you know, quickly becoming my favorite band, really. Because there are also people willing to rag you, you know, have a real conversation with you on that band. I have my uh, trusty ICS improved combat shelter tent, which works absolutely great. And my friends are just going to use a tarp. <laughs> but I like my comfort, so yeah, that's better. I was able to throw my wire up this tree and all the way to the other side here is the antenna uh, radiating wire, 134 foot wire. The 49 to 1 uh, transformer is about 8 feet from the ground and it is receiving extremely well. <laughs> no surprise with the uh, 134 foot antenna. Camp is taking shape. We're almost finished uh, setting up. And let's keep the goods uh, fresh for later. Now we'll get our food back and the uh, bottle of Cointreau, of course. A very important item. Yeah, Cointreau. <laughs> there it is. And that keeps, uh, it keeps the food uh, a little bit cooler. Camembert! <laughs> <laughs> I guess we're gonna have some traps tonight. Mm. Perfect. It does look pretty good. All right. All right, guys, I'm using the uh, QCX. It's a bit late, it's uh, 10 30 p.m., but that trout was so good, <laughs> I couldn't pass. I have my homemade paddles. Yep, works well. I haven't checked SWR, but uh, I know that transformer works well, so I'm not going to bother. I think it uh, it works okay. The reception is really good, so let's see if anybody is on the air. The batteries are 8 AA cells, alkaline.
And at that moment, my phone camera died. But hey, I'd say the pudding tastes pretty good. And there were no transcription errors. Looks like the challenge was met successfully and easily <laughs> on the third call. And it took, uh, you know, a matter of minutes, really. Uh, I called the first guy and uh, it was, you know, really slow. So I thought, you know, it's going to take forever. I didn't ask him. The second guy asked him, he did not understand what I was asking and, oh, choose to ignore it. I'm not quite sure, but uh, it didn't happen. And the third guy uh, really uh, came through and uh, immediately accepted to, uh, to, to send the email. And uh, I should have asked him to read back the information to make sure that it was correct. But I could, him, I could hear him so well that uh, you know, I didn't even bother doing that. So. Tiny Morse code radios, guys, really work, and they work really well. They're simple, they're small, easy to carry, they don't eat up a lot of current. They are really working well for prepping or, you know, for safety, for a survival radio. And I'll say it and I'll keep saying it. That stuff works. If you want to communicate, you can use Morse code, you can use a tiny radio that fits in your short pocket. And you can do so reliably and uh, it's going to work uh, practically uh, every time, especially on the lower bands. Have a good one.